And because we have this fast-paced environment, I feel that sometimes art is not valued as much or people don't see the value behind it because they don't see the profit behind it right away. So what would you really say is the value behind art artists and the written word in general? You know, this is a tough one because I understand. I mean, when you're, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000 plus dollars in debt, you know, uh, talking about art seems a little, it's a little bit of a luxury because you've got to earn the money to pay this back when your family's so broke that they're having problems paying the rent and you're going to be the person who helps them talking about how you're going to pursue your performance career sometimes feels a little irresponsible you know it's a difficult context out there yet ultimately you know what can i tell you i mean you have to live the life that you have to live and if you were like me my plan was always and was and my plan is to have a regular job and then do my art there's nothing unusual for that i mean shoot most of the parents i know have two jobs so i figured i have one <laughs> job that was kind of hellish and one job that was the job of my life you know my calling um this is a reality if you're not rich this is a reality if you're not elite this is a reality if you're not lucky you know that oftentimes you've got to chisel your art out from the hard cold stone of our realities which doesn't give us a lot of time or space for it and yet many of us couldn't survive these lives without our art many of us wouldn't be fulfilled without our art um art is no different than love um you know could we sure is, is having a roof over your head important yeah it's having an income important yeah it's paying you know your financial you know your the debts you owe to you for your schools yeah but on top of that you need other things to survive love is one of them community family yeah things that they haven't figured out a way to completely monetize them and art which you know art is problematically been sort of colonized by uh neoliberalism and capitalism but you know there's still a lot of room for it And I think that was the thing is that ultimately, if you have this passion, you can do everything you want to deny it, but it's going to return to you one way or the other. So if you want to be an artist and you're in a situation where you do not have the kind of privilege or the uh, elitism of the one or the 10%, then you start having to be very practical and very strategic. You look for a job that allows you to pursue your art. And one never knows the lives that you are going to touch with your art. You know, ultimately, you know, I'm like 51 years old, man. And um, life is short. Uh, 30 was a blink. College was two blinks. You know, <laughs> not far from now, one passes from the world. And so, you know, what do you leave behind? Well, one of the dreams is that as an artist that you leave behind um, that kind of transformational archive yeah the ways that your work has changed people even if it's two people that remains it's an archive that lives on in the world and um, i don't think that's a bad legacy to have i mean really die and what you 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 have a house and a summer house you leave to your kids okay that's one legacy i don't knock it i wish i had it but <laughs> that you've been able to help people's lives you've been able to inspire them and nurture them and to give them shelter in these difficult times it's not a bad thing either it's not a bad thing at all it's a very beautiful thing 